There's nothing wrong with having a disability. There's nothing wrong with saying that you have a disability or that someone else does. It's just factual. It just is what it is. And we don't need to talk about it as though there's shame or negativity attached to it because we don't want shame or negativity attached to it because there's nothing wrong with it. Welcome to Chez Jeunesse, the place of new beginnings. My name is Katherine Hubert, and I founded and own a French-inspired cafe where, as a team, we are on a mission to change the way that our world understands neurodiversity and employs humans with disabilities. Our restaurant was born and is based in Greensboro, North Carolina, and that's where we practice and teach our mission and model. This is our channel where we dive in deep to who we are, what we do, and why we do it. Our hope is that this content is empowering to disabled and non-disabled humans alike, and that no matter no matter what perspective you are coming from, lawyer, employee, parent, friend, or Shazeness fan, you feel welcomed, you learn something new, and you walk away with a deeper appreciation and understanding of humanity. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm excited to have you here today. We are going to be covering the question that I get the most when I lead workshops around disability integration in the workplace, which is, isn't it offensive to say disability or isn't it offensive to call someone disabled? So we're gonna back up a little bit as to why that question seems to come up so much in workshops and then talk through the answer. And also I think somewhat of the deeper meaning or foundational reasons on why that question keeps coming up. So I'm not gonna waste time. We're gonna jump right in. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Here we go. When I'm leading workshops here, we oftentimes are doing those for other business owners and leaders or managers, or sometimes people from the general public who are just curious about our content. But a lot of times it's with businesses or organizations in mind as they're seeking to make their workplaces more accepting, more adaptive, more inclusive to people with disabilities. And since that's what our business here is all about, we are so excited to step into the role of coaching and also giving some language and understanding and practical tools around disability employment and integration in the workplace. But also a main goal of that is to create an environment where it's safe for people to explore the questions that they might have with curiosity and with the goal of learning and being able to step forward in mind. All that being said, when I'm leading workshops here, and as you've probably noticed, if you've been around our channel for any period of time, I use the word disability and the word disabled. I use those both in person first and identity first language, which means that you may hear me say a person with a disability or a disabled person or a person with autism or an autistic person. Because of that, because I'm just so open about using those terms and in different contexts through the, the course of teaching, a lot of times that brings up questions from people about is it okay to use those terms because especially in the past like 20 or 30 years culturally there's been a lot of encouragement or guidance away from using those terms and using instead what we call disability euphemisms we're not going to go deep into disability euphemisms today we've actually already done a video on that so if you have not seen that before you can check that out here to see a past version of myself talk through that. But because there has been so much encouragement or cultural mindset shift towards using euphemisms like differently abled or special needs instead of disability, it oftentimes catches people off guard that I use the term disability or disabled so openly. And then that brings up those questions of, is it really okay to say that? <laughs> Are you not being offensive right now? And those are valid questions and they're great and I am happy when people ask them because we want to talk about it and the short answer is no it's not offensive we can go into a lot of detail about why that may be the case I could go into a lot of detail about that here I'm gonna keep it a little bit short for the sake of this video and also I'm not a person with a disability I'm a non-disabled person who's providing information from my own lens and perspective and what it's like for me as a business owner with a very integrated work environment and a very neurodiverse team so I can't speak to my own person experience around my feelings around the term disability use being used towards me that was very choppy the gist is the term disability is not offensive it is what it is there have been times culturally where there has been 
been offense or negative connotations that have been attached to the word. And that's, that's an issue in and of itself, but there's nothing wrong with the term disability. There's nothing wrong with using disability or disabled in our vocabulary, especially, and as I always encourage people to do that in a really neutral way where you're not assigning any kind of morality to it. It's a term that means something. The term in and of itself is not offensive. There's nothing wrong with having a disability. There's nothing wrong with saying that you have a disability or that someone else does. It's just factual. It just is what it is. And we don't need to talk about it as though there's shame or negativity attached to it because we don't want shame or negativity attached to it because there's nothing wrong with it. So we've gone into detail in some other videos about more, more details around like special needs being used, disability euphemisms, etc. where so some of these things may, may feel similar to you, but at, at the bottom of it, we want to take away the bias or the stigma that there's something wrong with disability in the first place. We're going at this from two approaches, right? Like it's important to address the meaning behind something and then to address the language specifically. It doesn't do us any good culturally to change a word if we're not changing the themes or the feelings or the posture that's around it, right? So we could say, well, we're no longer using disability, we're using special needs. But if we're not changing, which is what we did <laughs> culturally, we shifted. So we're not saying disability, someone's disabled or someone has a disability, we're saying that they have special needs. But the themes and the posturing and the feelings around why people felt like it wasn't okay to say disability still just moved right on over with special needs. So we didn't really change anything, we just changed the word, but we're not changing the way that we approach it. My goal here is to say, well, we don't actually we didn't actually need to change the word. The word is fine. If there's negativity attached to it, then we need to address that and we need to focus on that, which oftentimes means detaching and working through the bias or the stereotype or the stigma that we have around something and getting to the bottom of that and realizing it is neutral. Disability is a description of something or of someone. It's not negative. There's nothing wrong with having a disability. There's nothing wrong with being disabled. And the more that we can talk about it openly and with the neutral tone and posture, the more that we actually start to break down that understanding or that bias that has been attached to it. Hence, the question that I get in workshops, isn't it offensive when you say that? So that kind of deals with the first point. The second point in there being that usually when someone is like, isn't it offensive to say disability? And when I say, no, it's not, then the follow-up question is, but aren't you saying that someone can't do something? And that is where we start to attach, to attach, we start to attach a sort of ethical code or a value system around how much a person does or contributes being directly tied to their worth as a person. That's a much bigger issue. So we're gonna to touch on that a little bit today and hopefully that'll just kind of get your wheels turning enough for you to continue thinking about that on your own. This has been something that I have personally spent a lot of time thinking about over the past many years because that has always been, or historically, that has been my tendency with myself is to attach my value and my worth as a person to what I can do and what I can offer and how I perform. And so there's been a lot of therapy work and there's been a lot of internal work and pushing to start to recognize and believe for myself that my worth is not tied up in how much I can do, in what I can do, in how well I can perform in something, in what I can contribute into a room that I belong in spaces and I belong in the world and I belong to myself just for being me, not because I'm doing something for another person or I'm doing something for society or I'm doing something for my job. I'm not saying that we don't oftentimes find fulfillment or joy and satisfaction in being able to contribute and do things for other people or for our jobs or for the world. I think that can be true, but not getting so tied up into our worth and our value as humans comes directly from what we can do. So when we're asking, but isn't it offensive to say that someone is disabled because then we're saying that they can't do something, again, that kind of goes back to that point of, but what is wrong with that in the first place 
And also, this is this gets into different views of disability, which we have also talked about here, but there's a social model of disability where it's held that a lot of the disabilities that are encountered in our world are because our society is built with non-disabled humans in mind, and therefore people with disabilities experience limitations or barriers that a non-disabled person wouldn't but it's not because there's anything again inherently wrong with that person or that they couldn't achieve or move past whatever that obstacle is if society in the world was structured differently so we have these societally enforced almost or not enforced societally Society places disability onto people by being constructed and composed in very specific non-disabled ways. When you go back to like, isn't it offensive to say that someone is disabled because saying someone is disabled means that they can't do something, then that can kind of go twofold of, well, is there anything wrong with not being able to do something? Why is that offensive to not be able to do something or to say that someone can't do something? And then on the other hand, is the reason that they can't do something a societal issue that could be changed and could be accommodated and what are we doing about that so that's that's my encouragement for you as you start to work through some of those questions in your mind what is it that's making us uncomfortable what is that pushing against in us and some of the values that we may hold about ourselves, and therefore then project onto someone else how much of our worth and our identity and our value are we tying up in what we can do recognizing that it's a very like that's the basics of being a human is that we have things that we can't do that we have limitations that's part of the human experience and so some of those may be experienced in a level or degree that's classified as a disability which again is a legal classification so that rights and services and opportunities are protected and provided for and then also as a world what are we doing to become more accessible, accommodating, inclusive, which I know these are all like super buzzwordy words, but there is meaning behind them. Like they're not buzzwords for no reason. Like they're there because we need to actually talk about them. We need to think about them and we need to make action and change on them. So there you go. There you have it. Was that clear? (laughs) Like I feel like it got a little bit We unraveled just a little bit there at the end and I would go recap it, but I'm pretty sure that's what I just did and then I led us to this point. So instead, instead I'm gonna sign off. But if you have questions, if you have thoughts, please drop those below. Would love to continue the conversation. Super grateful that you're here, that you're in this little community with us. If you have a curious mind, if you're excited to learn something new, to talk about it, to feel about it, and then to step forward and change in this channel is is for you. And we're so honored to have you here. And we'll see you next week. Shajan S team, your keyword this week is seashell.